An Instruction for the Unveiling Apocalypse Chapter 7 The 144,000 and the Stormy Winds Now before we get started, I want to mention that you're going to see some brackets um, in the text um, of this chapter that I'm going to read. And the reason for the brackets is because those are areas where the Holy Spirit um, has revealed more information to me. So I wanted to keep those separate from the translation of God's word. Okay, let's get into it now. After this, I saw four angels standing firmly on the four angles of the earth that are hidden, clutching in their possession the four stormy winds, plagues, judgments from the earth, so that none of the stormy winds, plagues, or judgments would be breathed upon the land or the waters or any trees and vegetation. Then I saw another angel rising up from the sunrise, who was holding Yahweh's signet ring of life. And the angel shouted with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given permission at the appointed time to cause harm to the land and to the waters. And he shouted, do not cause harm to the land or the waters or the trees and vegetation until we have finished stamping with the seal of ownership and security the foreheads beyond the eyes in the minds of those who are the chosen servants of our Yahweh. Their lineage is spread throughout the world and they are not just in Israel. And then I heard the total number of those who were being sealed. It was 144,000 having received the seal of ownership and security from out of every lineage of the descendants of Israel, Yahweh's chosen people. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Eudah received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Hruvain received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Gad received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Azair received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Nephthalim received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Manasseh received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Sumeon received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Liui received the seal. 12,000 from the lineage of Issachar received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Zabulon received the seal. 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Eosaph received the seal. And 12,000 chosen from the lineage of Benjamin received the seal. After this, I looked, and in amazement, I saw a huge crowd of people. The total no one would be able to count from every race and nation and from every lineage and people and language from the earth, who were now standing before the great throne of ruling power and before the Lamb. And they were clothed with long, flowing, dazzling white robes and were holding palm tree branches in their hands. And they were shouting out with deep emotion and a loud voice saying, Our deliverance and salvation comes from our Yahweh, the one sitting on the throne of ruling power, and from the Lamb. All the angels also stood around the throne, and all the elders of council, and the four living beings, and they all fell prostrate on their faces before the throne of ruling power, 
and they worshipped Yahweh, saying, Truly, truly, let it be, blessing and honor and divine intelligence and thankfulness and great value and marvelous works of power and strength are for our Yahweh, for all of the ages of time and for all eternity. Truly, truly, so let it be. Then one of the elders of council took up conversation with me and said, These people you see wearing the flowing robes of dazzling white, do you know who they are and where they came from? And I responded to him and said, Teacher, you are the one who knows and understands. Then he said to me, These people are the ones who have come out of the great and terrible time of distress and affliction, and they have cleansed their robes in righteousness, reflecting the character of Yahweh. And they have made them white with purification and the shed blood of the Lamb. Those who the 144,000, the chosen harvest workers, will teach and preach to during the three and a half years of the stormy winds, or the time of the plagues and afflictions, which must take place to bring in Yeshua's harvest. Because of this, they, those who have been purified during the afflictions, are now here before Yahweh's throne of ruling power, because they have served and worshipped him all day and night in his temple, their sanctified bodies, where he resides. And so the one sitting on the throne of ruling power has set up his tent over them. Now they will never starve for food again, or be thirsty again, and the hot sun will not be pressed down on them again, or any scorching heat. These are some of the afflictions of the three and a half years of harvest. Because the lamb in the middle of the throne of ruling power will shepherd them and govern them, and he will lead them to physical and spiritual flowing springs of water. And Yahweh will totally wipe away all their pain, and every tear from their eyes. They have been victorious and overcome the lies, false doctrines, and deceptions of the world.